In section 2.4a, HQ PSTN dial plan, we're going to configure dial plan from the for the head of head office. Now these are the following requirement for your uh, dial plan for the telco site, and these are the requirement that we have to configure to achieve uh, as we need. Now we need a local route group, which we, which is already done as part of our gateway. We're going to create a seven-digit local uh, dial plan that will allow us to dial nine followed by any number two to nine and then remaining digit. Caller ID has to be seven digit as you can see and the calling name should be sent to PSTN. All HQ phones should be able to make a long distance call by pressing nine followed by one and then any three-digit area code and the last digit subscriber number. Keep that in mind this type of call um, uh, basically they, they want the caller ID to be 10 digit name should be displayed uh, for example this should be the number uh, you know if you're to make an outbound call now for LH all HQ phone should be able to make an international call by dialing 9 followed by 011 and you want the caller ID to remain as a globalized number the name should be sent as well uh, to achieve all this we need to create only single route pattern Plus sign. So it's not like we're going to create a, a multiple route pattern to achieve that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to create a single route pattern, but the remaining task that you see, you're going to achieve that by using a uh, translation pattern. So by going to my route pattern list, you'll see that I only have one route pattern created, the plus sign, with a partition right there. As my single uh, local route list, sorry, local route group is defined as a route list. Make sure you do have urgent priority set. And you also want the calling name to be allowed. So once this is defined, the next step we're going to do is go to translation pattern. In a translation pattern is the number the user is going to dial and ultimately match. So when the user will dial the seven digit number, we want them to match this translation pattern. Nine followed by seven digit dial plan is going to have a calling source space so that it can reach the route pattern with the partition HQ. Uh, outside dial tone and because they expect you to have caller ID as a seven digit, so we must take check this option so that we can take the 11 digit number and mask it with the last seven digit calling name number type and number plan should be defined as follow now what we're going to do we're going to remove the nine for pre dot and add the plus sign because if we don't add this plus sign it's not going to match that number to the route pattern which was the only route pattern we have or we allow to create alright so quickly we can screen freeze it and then take a note once this is done, now our goal is to remove the plus sign before the call is sent to the gateway. So we must go to transformation, transformation pattern, call party transformation pattern. And there we have a local pattern created. So go ahead and select that. So this is where we're going to define plus dot seven digit number partition PT called discard digit and it's going to tag as a subscriber so this is how you're going to achieve your seven digit dial plan now i'm going to do a quick test and a call and i'm going to dial this number right here as you can see the call came in and my hq phone seven ten digit uh, seven digit dial uh, caller id seven digit dial number target as a subscriber and national plan type is ISTN. So as you can see my configuration worked as per the requirement. Now the second task I'm going to do is of course the translation pattern for long distance. Now let me turn this off. Now let's take a look at the long distance pattern. Similar task create a translation pattern Make sure it has a calling source space to reach the route pattern. Provide outside dial tone. And because we are sending 11 digit national call, we're going to make sure that the calling party mask is 10 digit as per the requirement. 
and external phone number mask is checked. Calling presentation name, number type, and number plan should be defined as follow. For outside out uh, call number, make, we're going to remove nine one, but we're going to add plus one and remove everything else. Okay, so this will then take the call to call party transformation pattern. There is going to match this pattern most likely. So I want to select that pattern. And again, match the pattern, 11 digit, make sure PT called. Discard digit is pre dot remove plus one. And we're going to send as a national call an ISDN. So to test this call, we're going to dial a 10 digit number. Call goes through. As you can see, is defined as per the requirement. Okay, it's national, ISDN, national. All right, so that's the 10 digit. Okay, the next step is going to be international. So we're going to go to translation pattern. For international, we are going to have two pattern. One is 9011 dot exclamation mark. One is 9011 dot exclamation with the hash key or the pound key rather. So select either one. Same thing, make sure it is selected. Uh, type 9011 dot exclamation because it's the, we're not going to send the 011. Calling source space is required to be able to reach the route pattern. P dot sorry uh, PSDN dial tone uh, because uh, for international we we want the number to be globalized and by selecting just that option called use external phone number mask is going to take whatever the number we have on this phone right here okay now for rest of the stuff pretty much same allowed international and ISDN as a number type discard digit pre dot that is removing 9011 next step is going to go through transformation call party there we're going to select the plus sign right here because it's going to match only plus again as you can see pre dot international and so and so so we're going to make a quick call. I'm going to dial this international number. We're going to have to wait for that interdigit timeout. Okay, so the call is not working so let's take a look at the pattern so we're going to go 9011 again translation pattern we have to put the plus sign here where we missed the outgoing digit because because the plus sign is not there so therefore it is not matching the route pattern we do the same thing with 011 the only thing the 011 is going to have the pre dot trailing hash with the plus sign as well. Okay, so let's try. There we go. The call works in instantly. And as you can see, the international number. Caller ID with the plus sign. International call with a 011. Tagged as international. Calling as international. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for our HQ Dell plan.